What's up guys, it's Coding Jesus, and in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you three things that you need to break into the proprietary trading space as a trader, as a quant trader, whatever you wanna call it, as a trader. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Coding Jesus. I am a quant developer. I write code to interface with an exchange, and I also build trading applications for traders at the firm that I work at. Now, who is the audience for this video? Well, most people that DM me and ask me these questions are between the ages of 16 and 25. Now, when I'm talking about breaking into the industry, I'm talking about getting a position as a junior trader, right? Somebody that's new to trading. If you're 45, you're not gonna be a junior trader, I'm sorry. I just tell it like it is and I'm blunt. But I'm blunt because you deserve bluntness, you deserve the truth. So if you're 45 or 50 and you wanna be a junior trader, that's not happening. If you are 18, it's definitely happening if you follow these three steps. If you're 25 and you're doing a career shift and you, know, you really wanna break into the industry, this still applies to you. Okay, so what's the first thing that you need? The first thing you need is a degree in either math or economics. Now, if you have a business degree and you're trying to shift and break into this industry, you can still do that. It might just be a little harder. You have to grind a little harder. Show the employer that you're hungry. But if you're still in school or maybe still doing a degree and maybe you want to change degrees, look for a degree in math or economics with a preference to math. Why is that? In the interview, you will be asked a lot of math questions, maybe some mental math, there might be an IQ test component where there's pattern recognition. There might be some number pattern recognition. It might not be, you know, derivative algebra or, you know, discrete math or whatever, but you'll definitely need to have some sort of math background to be able to work comfortably with numbers and analyze a lot of data in your head. Okay. The next thing you need is probably one of the most important things you need. What you need to do is buy this book and read it. A lot of people are asking me, what resources do I need? What books do I need? What videos do I need to watch? All you need is this book. Option Volatility and Pricing Advanced Trading Strategies and Techniques by Sheldon Natenberg. Once again, Option Volatility and Pricing Advanced Trading Strategies and Techniques, Sheldon Natenberg. I, as a quant developer, read this. I read this in preparation for my job when I was first making the transition into the industry. I read this on a vacation in Mexico. It's 540 pages, all right? I only remember 10 to 15% of this because I don't need to remember all of it. I'm not a trader. It's not part of my job to remember all this. If you can retain at least 50% of this, you will impress your interviewer and you will land the job. They will ask you right then and there, please tell me how much you want. Sign, I want you to sign right now. That's how powerful this book is. So for all the people asking me, what resources, what websites, what videos, you don't need anything other than this book and a link to this book will be in the description box below, right? Okay, the third and final thing you need is some sort of trading experience. Now don't say you're a day trader and don't say you're trading on technical indicators because you get laughed out of the room. When you read this book, you'll know a lot about different trading strategies and you will know a lot about options. And options is the most prolific you know, asset class or instrument type that's traded in proprietary trading firms. So you should open a brokerage account, deposit maybe 500 bucks, and start playing around with some options. Don't go crazy on margin, but think of a strategy, think of what you wanna trade and go ahead and execute those trades. Now, why do I say you need this experience? Well, when you walk into a interview, you will have much more credibility if you said you did implement XYZ strategy. And you can talk about that strategy and use it as cannon fodder when the interviewer presses you as to you know, your previous experience. And this is particularly important for people that don't come from a business degree or don't come from an economics or math degree. If you show that you've read, read this book, you have 50% of the knowledge of this book retained on demand, and you also have some trading experience, that is, you're probably beating out at least 70% of applicants and candidates, if you can do that. If you also have the math degree on top of that, you beat around 98% of candidates for that junior position. All right? Once you make, make it through your way through the door, that's when you'll be paid to 150 to 200K, maybe not as a junior, but you get my drift. You'll get paid lavish bonuses depending on how well you perform. It can be anywhere from hundred thousands, hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars. And that's when the exotic women start showing up your door and blowing up your DMs. Maybe exotic men, I don't know, I don't judge, exotic whatever you're into. All right, I personally have helped people land jobs at FANG companies. 
So if you guys are interested in a resume review, you want to be a junior trader and you want to write a resume and you want it reviewed by me, I have a Calendly link in the description box below, guys. It's going to be right alongside a link to this book, the only resource you need. All right. That's the end of the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I know a lot of people ask me about this. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, guys. And share the video. Share the video with your friends that want to learn about trading and spread the gospel of coding Jesus. Discord link in the description box below if you want to be part of this community. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.